afternoon, everyone. Um, introducing Miguel Jacques. Well done. Thank you. I, was, <laughs> I had an instructor, Miguel, to pick me up as soon as I got that wrong. So thank you. Um, this presentation we're about to have given to us is about Aga, Sky Skynet for Drupal. Uh, just in the other rooms currently, we've got the Drupal 7 theming and temple inherit template inheritance, the dark art of business analysis in the CMS room, and in the Melbourne room, the Fuse projects, nine Drupal sites for the education sector. But in this room, Agar, Skynet for Drupal, Miguel. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks. That was nice. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for making the, the right choice. <laughs> a lot of you have, it looks like. If you, we can probably fit some people sitting up the front if you want. Hold on in. All right. This is my get out of jail free card. It's, uh, it's a rather ambitious talk, as I said in the proposal. So if I do run out of time, uh, or in fact, even if I don't run out of time, on your way out, grab a copy of the handout. It's both sides covered in links that go into uh, further detail. Lots of other screencasts I've done that go for hours and hours and hours. Lots of articles. It's a very good resource. Um, if you don't want to carry a piece of paper around, yeah, grab the electronic copy. That's fine. So, who am I? If you haven't met me, my name is Miguel Jacques. Um, if you've heard of MIG-5 in the Drupal community, I'm that guy. Um, what do I do? I'm a freelance sysadmin and consultant, mainly to other Drupal agencies who uh, can't afford their own sysadmin or d can't justify having a full-time sysadmin on the payroll. And I just help people manage their servers and deployments and, and that sort of thing. I am Melbourne-based. I was born here in Melbourne, despite the, the funky name that my parents gave me. Um, and I am an Agia core developer, which is why I'm here pretending to know what I'm talking about. On the agenda, agenda, it's, I should have cut that out. It's, it's not good. I'm going to cover off a few different things. Um, wow, we've still got people coming. Um, what is AGEAR? I'm going to give you a brief introduction. If you're not familiar with AGEAR at all, I'm going to introduce you to the idea of AGEAR and what its purpose is, what it's designed to do. I'm not a big fan of slides, despite what we were seeing so far. So I'm going to try and jump into some practical demonstration, uh, beginning with getting around the web interface of AGEAR.